Welcome to another episode of Gym Live Blog. Today we are hitting motherfucking hamstrings. And today's conversation is going to be about taking it personal. Okay, take how people treated you personal. Take where you come from personal. Take where people looking, take people looking down on you, judging you, telling you that you weren't enough. Take you feeling less than, take all that shit personal and use that shit as fuel for the fire. Use that shit as motivation to keep evolving into the best version of you possible. Now we're not doing that so we can show them or show this we're not doing this so we can show this person, show that, show them. We're doing that to show ourselves that we were enough all along. So to begin today's hamstring and lower back workout, we're going to start off with deadlift. Okay, we're gonna go light to moderate. We're gonna go three sets of 20 reps. The reason I train three sets of 20 reps is because I like to go for that aesthetic, strong physique, okay? Like I wanna be able to look good, look chiseled in a suit. I wanna be able to go run three miles. And I also wanna be able to come into the gym and lift with the best of them. So my training style allows me to be able to do that. All right, now before you guys touch anything in this weight room, make sure you get on the hamstring curl machine, get about three sets of 12 reps, really lightweight, just to get the blood flow, loosen up the hamstrings before you touch this deadlift bar, okay? Now I recommend that because you always wanna, I recommend that because you wanna warm up the joints. You don't wanna jump straight into it. Back when my ego was bigger than my numbers, I would go to the gym, get on bench press, go 315, four sets of five, no warm up, straight to it. And I'm lucky that I made it this far without injuring myself. Like, God really had my back there. All right guys, so for the first two sets, we're gonna do 10 reps for warm up because we wanna make the most of these three sets of deadlift. All right, guys, we got another 10 reps right here. Uh, my first introduction to taking things personal was in high school. Again, it all started with fitness. Um, I remember being in ninth, 10th grade, and there was this board in my weight room where the top 10 lifters in each grade um, had their name on the board. Um, I didn't get my name on that board until 11th grade, but every day leaving the gym, I would see that board, and I would see the people who were above me, and I was like, these people don't work harder than me, and they didn't, you know? Um, I would sneak into the gym and work out any chance that I got. Um, I lived like five minutes away from the high school, so on the weekends or after school, I was in the gym busting my ass, and it, and it was moments like that that really defined it for me. I mean, it was moments like that that really made me, that really built character, and really drove me to be the person that I am today. Because, you know, I look at it like there's like there's no way 99 people are better than me. No, there's, there's no way. There's no way. And some people call it cockiness. Some people call it ego. I will 100% agree that it's ego that's gotten me where I am in life right now. And I keep that same energy. I keep that same attitude. That's what made me, you know? That's what made me. I, I took shit personal. I'm going to get 20 reps of deadlift right here. We really want to focus on having a solid base, having good form. Use your belt if you can. I know a lot of people don't use belts. I never used belts in the past, but it was all ego. And, you know, the goal is to last. It's about longevity, okay? It's not about instant gratification. It's not about looking cool for the moment. It's about being able to sustain and do this for the remainder of your life. <laughs> Woo. Honestly, I don't really get hyped about deadlifts like I used to. Um, I got out of the military with three herniated discs. Had to get surgery on my back and my ankles and uh, kind of killed deadlifts for me. And so now I lift more for longevity, performance, but also to look good, which is why I chose the more bodybuilding style of training versus powerlifting. All right, guys, we're going another 25 on this. This brings us up to 275. Again, another 20 reps, really having a solid base from the ground up. And taking things personal really started for me in high school, man. I remember in ninth and 10th grade, I could not get on the weightlifting board in my high school. So in my high school, there was this board where the top 10 lifters in every grade had their name on the board. 
And I would look at that board and slide every single day leaving a weight room because I looked at that board like there was no way these guys are better than me. There was no way that everybody in my grade is stronger than me because they don't work nearly as hard as I do. And they didn't. I said, I would go in the gym and train when I wasn't supposed to be in the gym training. I had just left weight training and I would still be in there lifting. I live five minutes from the high school. So I would literally walk to the high school on Fridays and Saturdays and work out. Um, and fast forward to today, um, I can't name anyone in my high school. I can't name anyone in my high school who's fucking with me. And I say that respectfully um, because I believe in myself. I took that shit personal. And that's why I am where I am in life is because of my ego. I use my ego for good. I use my ego to see what others couldn't see in me. I use my ego to drive me, okay? I use my ego as fuel to keep evolving, okay? To become the best version of myself. And I'm the best version of myself that I'm supposed to be right now. I'm right on track. But I want you to take it personal, bro. I want you to take it personal. Take it personal, okay? Put that chip on your fucking shoulders, bro. And let that shit weigh on you every single day, okay? Let that shit weigh on you every single day. Use that shit to drive you in every fucking thing you do. And don't get me wrong, man. Do not get me wrong. Again, comparison is the thief of joy. Right, so like anything in life, you have to have a level of balance. Um, and balance is important at certain parts in your life. Right now, I don't give a fuck about balance. Right now, I'm running through anything in my way. I'm going 200 miles per hour, and that's just where we at right now. That shit's cool, bro. All right, guys, so for the third set, we got 315 for 20 reps on this deadlift. Again, solid base, good form, control the weight. Remember, the heavier the weight, the less control you have of it, or the stronger you are, the more control you have of it. I use rage with some of these big lifts. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I use rage to get me through some of the harder exercises. Um, I store my pain, I store my trauma, like energy. And I use that shit when it's time to perform. Whether that's in life, whether that's in the gym, it doesn't matter what the fuck it is. Like, I hold on to that fucking pain. I hold on to that pain and then I use that as fuel. That's what gets me through. All right, guys, so we're going to be using a glute builder for this next workout. It really doesn't matter what machine you use. What matters is the mind and muscle connection that you have. So you decide how you want each machine to work for your body. Obviously today is hamstring and back day. So we're going to be putting a lot of tension on our hamstrings and this is also gonna be working our back. And so for the childish guys out there who say, I'm never gonna use this machine, I want you to know that you don't just have to use this machine to build your butt, okay? This machine can be used for your hamstrings as well, okay? So those guys out there who have no stroke game and are horrible in bed, this right here is going to make her ass tap out, okay? So spend some more time on this machine, learn how to use it, educate yourself on it before you try to label any guy that you see using this machine. Because nine times out of 10, a guy using that machine might pipe your girl up. All right, guys, so we're gonna go three sets of 15 reps right here. Two, three, you should fill it all in your hamstrings. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so back to taking things personal for your growth. I can't tell you how many people I have reached out to to try to go to dinner, go to lunch with, or learn something about them, just get a little bit of advice, and I got shunned off. I can't tell you how many people I've encountered, but because I didn't have enough money, or I wasn't jacked enough at the time, 
Um, they didn't give me the time of the day. And it's little things like that that I hold close to my heart. Because you're going to see me again. I swear to fucking God, you're going to see me again. And I don't say that in a spiteful, revenge type of way. But you're going to see me again. And when you see me, the look on your face and be like, wow, you did it. All right, guys. So we got the second set of 15 reps right here. I fucking love the grind. I love the struggle. I love pain. But my favorite thing of all time is those rags to riches story. I love a motherfucking rags to riches story. I love when somebody gets it out of the mud and creates something bigger. I love when someone defies the odds. I love the fucking underdog. I love listening to the struggle music. Like Meek Mills is my favorite. I remember growing up, man. My teacher used to tell me, man, before you turn 12 years old, you're going to be dead or in jail. One of the two. And um, it's things like that that I, that I took with me. I mean, I took that personal. And um, Miss Lawson, I'm going to show you. For sure. If I take this cookie now, one day I'll do the time. I know I shouldn't have the only music that I listen to in the gym is like soft meditation music that allows me to think, allows me to sort out my ideas. It kind of allows my brain to kind of go other places. And then I listen to struggle rap music. Struggle rap music fuels me, okay, because it's something that I can relate to. I come from that. I've been there. I, I've been misjudged. I've been downplayed. I've been doubted. I've been taken for granted. I can resonate to that. And I like to listen and I like to be around things that bring me out of me, okay? Even if that's surrounding myself with people who are like me, okay? People who come from where I come from, but they have a why, okay? You don't have to come from the gutter. You don't have to be adopted, but you have a why, okay? You come from something that you never want to go back to. Yeah. Alright guys, so right here we have got hamstring curls. Really gonna focus on squeezing all the way at the top. We're going three sets of 12, and then for the fourth set, we're going to go to failure. You guys really want to make sure that you have control during this exercise at all times. Remember, the heavier the weight, the less control you have of it, or the stronger you are, the more control you have of it, okay? So if it's too heavy to where you can't control the movement, you can't go slow, then you need to lower the weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fuck. Ooh. Ah. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, all right. So we got two more sets of this, and then we're gonna go do some good mornings and work a little bit more lower back, and then we'll call it for the day. So the reason I have the training style that I have, I have more of a hybrid training style. Okay, now I'm not going out running triathlons or running five and 10 miles. I will hop up and go run three miles here and there. Um, but I never wanted to be too big to where I wasn't functional. You know, I wanted to have the best of both worlds. Okay, I wanted to be able to be aesthetic, be super strong, but also have the endurance and the agility to, I don't know, survive an apocalypse. <laughs> Some people want to be like Seabomb. And then some people want to be like Nick Bear. If you guys don't know who Nick Bear is, guy is a freak of nature. A guy did a bodybuilding show and ran a full marathon. And I think he did very well in both of those. Okay, I'm going for more of a Nick Bear type of body. Maybe not so much Nick Bear because I'm not running 5 to 10 miles, 20 miles, no way. Um, but I just want to be aesthetic. I want to be strong. I want to have big legs, small waist-ish, big arms, big chest. But I want to look functional. I don't want to look 
huge, like humongous, just fucking crazy. Like that, that's never been the goal for me at all. One, two, three, four, nine. One. Squeeze out the top. Into one. Four. Seven. Eight. One. Nine. One. All right, guys, we're on the last set. We're going to failure right here, and then we're gonna be on the good mornings. So we've got three sets of 10 reps with good mornings, really focusing on stretching those hamstrings as much as possible and using your lower back to get up, okay? Really be controlled and you don't want to overextend yourself. You don't want to overexert yourself and you don't want to use too much weight to where you end up hurting yourself, okay? So remember, the heavier the weight, the less control you have of it. The stronger you are, the more control you have of it, all right? So we got 10 reps right here. One. Two. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna go up 10 pounds for this next set. So I set you guys up like this so you can see a different angle. You can see the way that I'm stretching my hamstrings and the way that I'm extending my back. Uh, no. Stretching those hamstrings. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Uh -uh. And for the people out there who only work quads, who only do squats, who neglect their hamstrings, I want you to know that you're unathletic as shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm not taking that back. <laughs> it's a wrap for the good mornings. Now we're gonna do some back extensions and then we're gonna call it for today. It's really important to remind yourself where you came from. Remember how far you've come. Because, because the only way that we can keep history from being rewritten is by reminding ourselves. Reminding ourselves of how far we come and reminding ourselves that we'd never wanna go back down there. So. Make a habit of reflecting sometime, okay? Uh, Self-reflection is a very important factor when it comes to self-development. So remind yourself of where you come from, how far you've come, because that's what's going to keep you driven. That's what's going to keep you from being complacent. Remember, complacency is the silent killer of success. So never get settled. Never think that you're irreplaceable because someone's always grinding for your spot. We got our last workout right here. These are gonna be back extensions. We're gonna go three sets of 20 reps. Really focus on squeezing at the top and having a controlled tempo. Now I like to do this workout because it gives me that nice, I won't say snatch, um, but that nice athletic aesthetic 
look versus having a muffin top and back fat. I also have this workout to thank for my recovery. When I got out of the Marine Corps with those three herniated discs, this is all I did for about three months to allow me to lift what I lift now and do all the movements that I can do. So we got three sets of 20 reps right here. Really focus on squeezing, okay? Really focus on squeezing at the top. All right, guys. So once again, my equipment has failed me. Um, I was just telling you guys that, hey, make sure that you squeeze at the top, okay? Really focus on controlling your tempo. Don't overexert yourself and control the momentum, okay? Now, if you guys enjoyed the content, if I've been able to offer you any type of clarity, offer you a different perspective on how to view things in your life, or I've been able to provide you with uh, variations of different workouts to accommodate to your needs, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what you'd like to see more of. Let me know what you appreciate, any questions, concerns, anything you might have. Um, send them down in the comments below. Like I said, I read every one of the messages. Um, I'm very humbled and very appreciative of any engagement that I get. Uh, remember, the goal is to... The goal is to empower and uplift as many lives as possible, but I'm going to do, but I'm going to empower one life at a time if that's all that I can do. Okay, so I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.